Okay, so let's have a look at some non-right angle trig questions. Uh, this should be useful for the 0580 and 0607 ITCSC uh, International Maths Paper 4. Uh, so here's the first one. Uh, we're given a diagram, position of ships and a coast guard station. Um, and I want to find the distance A, B. So that uh, before I crossed out the, the things there, it was this length here. Um, now, first off, I need to decide if I'm going to use the cosine rule or sine rule. If you look at this, I've got side, 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 and angle. Therefore, uh, nearly always I'm going to be using the cosine rule. So there we go, three sides and one angle, use the cosine rule. So this is the cosine rule. Write it down, a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. Uh, the reason I've relabeled this rather than being c, I've relabeled it as a, is because I want this a the capital A here, to be the angle that I've been given. So I've relabeled that as A, therefore this is little a, little b and little c, doesn't really matter, but I need to make sure that the angle is labelled correctly. So now I've got this equation, I can basically just stick all my numbers in, so a squared, that's the side that I want, 83.1 squared, 95.2 squared, etc, etc. You can stick all that straight into your calculator, you're going to get a squared equals 18990 point something something something. Uh, remember to square root it, and therefore a is 137.80 something something. And then if we round it to the nearest kilometer, we will get 138. Uh, because it says, it, it tells us the answer, so basically in order to make sure that we get full marks on this, we need to do to show our full method uh, to get full, full marks. Okay, so that's the first question. Okay, second question uh, kind of follows on from the first. So, um, uh, this this length was one three eight. This is what we found out from the previous question. We were told that it rounds to one three eight. So I'm going to use one three eight uh, for the for the follow through part of the question. Um, it says the bearing of the coast guard of C from A is one four six. So I start at the point A, and I go all the way round until I get to C, and that that angle there is 146. Okay, so that's the first bit. Then it says calculate the bearing of B from A. So from A, so again I start from the north arrow at A, go all the way around until I hit B. So it's this blue angle here, because that's what I want to find. So I look at that and go, well I know that that whole angle there is 146, I know that the, the blue angle is what I want to find, so if I knew what this x is here, this angle inside the triangle, if I knew what this angle was, then I could actually work out, so if I knew what, if I knew what this x was here, then I could do 146, take away this answer, and then what would be left would be the bearing that I wanted. Okay, so I, I therefore think, well, how do I find out what this little x is here? Well, it's either going to be cosine rule or sine rule, I've got an angle that I want and a side, an angle and a side, so two angles, two sides. Therefore, it's going to be the sine rule. So therefore, I've got sine 101 over 138 equals sine x over 83.1. I choose the sine rule with the angle on the top, just to make it a bit easier, um, a bit less rearranging to do. So I get this equation. If I then rearrange it, I'm going to times, well, stick all that into your calculator, sine 101 over 138, times the answer by 83.1, and then to get x on its own, inverse sine of all the answer, and you get 36.2. So therefore, x is 36.2. Therefore, the bearing that you want, this blue angle here, is 146, take away 36.2, which is 109.8. Okay, next question. Um, this time we're given the area uh, of the triangle PQR, so 48. Calculate angle QPR. So where is QPR? QPR is this angle here. So that's the angle we want to find. And show that it rounds, blah, blah, blah. Okay, again, because it's shown as the answer, we need to show our method clearly. Now, if the area of a triangle is 48, while well, we're thinking... What is the formula for the area of a triangle? Half AB sine C. So therefore the angle uh, is going to be half times by, it's the two sides that enclose the angle. So half times 10 times 14 
times sine of this angle is equal to 48. And again, if I stick all that in the calculator, I'm going to get sine C is equal to 24 over 35. Therefore, C is 43.29. Okay, and then that does round to 43.3. Remember, C in this case here is angle QPR. Okay, another question. Let's have a look at another question on bearing. Uh, calculate the bearing of Wellington from Gisborne. Okay, so from Gisborne. So Wellington is here. This is the W. Gisborne is here. Uh, Wellington from Gisborne. So start at the north arrow. Go all the way around until we hit this line here. So this is the angle that we want. This is the bearing that we want. Well, this bearing here is going to be 360 takeaway the angle inside. Well, we know that this angle here is 63. How did we work out that this angle here is 65? Well, this comes up quite a lot. If you see here, we basically have the north arrow here and then the north arrow here like that. Now, those two north arrows are going to be parallel. Okay, so that's going to be parallel and that's going to be parallel. Now, from parallel lines, you should know that the two lines inside the parallel lines together will add up to 180. So if this is 115, this must be 65. Okay, so therefore, we use that, the, the fact of parallel lines to find out that this is 65. Therefore, the bearing that we want is going to be 360. Take away that 63. Take away that 65, which is 232. Okay, so that's the first bit. Um, the next one, uh, we want the bearing of Wellington from Auckland. So there's Wellington, here's Auckland. From the North Arrow, it's going to be all the way around, all the way around here. So it's basically going to be 115 plus whatever X is here. Okay, so that's the total bearing that I want. Okay, so similar to the previous question, I've now got an angle that I want. Well, what am I going to do to find that angle? I've got an angle in a side, angle in side. So two sides, two angles. I'm going to use the sine rule. So there we go, sine x over 400, sine 63 over 410. As before, sine 63 over 410 times it by 400. Inverse sine to get x on its own. I get x is 60.37. Therefore, the bearing is going to be 115 plus 60.37, which is 175. Okay, one last question, and this is a tough one. This would be a, a, probably an A-star question. Uh, calculate the value of x. Okay, so here we go. That's 120. This uh, is x, 2x, and 21. Okay, I've labeled my triangle. This is A, this is small a, big B, small b big C, small c. Um, and if you notice I've got side, side, side and angle so therefore it's going to be cosine rule. Okay now this is the difficult thing. So let's stick all the values in. A is 21, uh, B in this case is x, C is 2x, 2 times by the x and the 2x times by cos of the angle. So just put all those values into my uh, cosine formula. Now here's the tricky bit. I've got 2x all squared. Now 2x all squared is not 2x squared, it is 4x squared. So 2 squared is 4, x squared is x squared. Um, and I've got 2 times x times 2x, which is 4x squared. Cos 120, stick it on your calculator, you will get a negative, no, negative 0 0.5. It's okay, you can have a negative um, but just write it's negative 0 0.5. So we get 441 equals 4x squared plus x squared minus 4x squared times by minus 0 0.5. Okay, this is why it's an A star question. Uh, minus 0 0.5 times minus 4 is going to give us 2x squared. So therefore I've got 4x squared plus 2x squared plus another x squared. So I get 7x squared. So I get 441 is equal to 7x squared. Divide both sides by 7, 
and then square root, I'm going to get x is 7.9. Okay, so a few questions all to do with trig non-right-angle triangles.